guys, it's Prodigy Map Pirate right here, and today I'm going to be counting down with you guys the top five worst updates ever added to Prodigy. Catch them all. <laughs> Number five, the Titan Barrier, but not the Academy. So yeah, the Titan. The Titan has been a pretty good addition to Prodigy. Like where like you just battle this one monster thingy, and then there are like variation types of it. But the thing with the Titan Barrier is that it's so boring. Okay, so all you just do is you just battle the Titan. You come back. It's not even like a quest like all of the other five worlds. You just battle, come back. And then you, and you're expected to buy stuff from Harvey. And then like you get more shards if you do more battles. And yet I bought everything because I played so much and now I'm bored. Because it's really so dumb. The worst idea ever. And still, the academy is not open. Why? Well that's because the Titan is a distractor. It's a distraction. And the pe the project just created the Titan so that we don't get too worried. But the idea was still bad. Don't worry guys, there are even stuff worse than this. Number four, the removal of heel stones. So you may have thought that uh, addition, I mean the removal of heel stones was a really awesome update. Well, guess what? It is apparently not. Well, the thing is, it's, it takes the fun out of it. Because like in Prodigy, I think the main point of the game is to like not try to lose health like you if you lose health if you die that's the point of the game it's kind of like supposed to be a video game now that there's automatic healing after every single battle it makes it boring because it takes like the fun out of it because it's not like that scary it's not that tempting anymore that's the thing would you like to play a game where it just like you get to cheat every single time well that's basically what Prodigy is now and now it's just even getting more boring. Number three, two pets only. Why, Prodigy, why? Why only two pets? Why those tiny chests? Like, seriously, like, why do you only have to have two pets? Like, that literally takes the fun out of some battles. You want to see what I mean? Let me show you the things it took fun out of. It took fun out of those random wizard battles in like all of the five worlds, like when you we see those people in cloaks. Now they only have supposed to have two pets. And now the dark tower. Well now it's gonna be super easy like floor eighty. My favorite was floor eighty because in floor eighty you burst like five level one hundred people. And now it's just gonna be a level one hundred with two pets in the thing. And now it's not gonna be hard. The Dark Tower is not challenging. It's the end of everything. Same thing with the wizard battles. Like, it's not challenging. You just have two bets. And now, same thing for the battles in the Coliseum by Clayton. We don't want those tiny chest prodigy. I don't like those updates. It was the arena. Come on, guys. One pet was fine. And now only two? Well, I like hints at those videos, like where they used to be like, um... Like, where you bet to battle a bunch of pets? Like, why can't you- you could always put that back, like, if you're just battling people for fun, not in the arena competition. Like, it just takes the fun out of them if you don't have a lot of pets. And it's not that amazing. Oh no, it's getting worse. Number two, the removal of Clockwork Town. Okay, so it's just not that the fact it was removed. It's the fact that it was replaced for this thing. And the reason why I don't like it, because Quaker Town was way better. Like, what, they probably could just have added quests instead of put the Lost Island, because the Lost Island is just super boring with random stuff. Like, they could have added Quaker Town back, like, with quests. Here's a, a quick video clip of Quaker Town. This is it. Are you ready? Oh, that's just absolutely cringy. And yeah, here is the background. This YouTuber named SC Gaming. So yeah, that and then also that other place. I can I just go back right here. This is where you can name, get the name the Wizard, like Kim Bell does, and you could have gotten other cool names too. And now that they took it out and they don't put stuff in the Lost Island, now the Lost Island is just like a sequel to places like 
You can't even catch stuff on the Lost Island. Like, come on, Prodigy, really? Oh no, it's time for the worst. And no, dragons are not coming. They're already here. Oh, come on, bro. And no, there's no slide for number one. It's just way too scary. I don't know when this update happened, but it is so bad. All right, this is how you know that it happened. You know, I remember. Click on the member thing right here. This says what members do. I see the membership boxes, special house furniture, blah blah blah, mini game booze, uh, concert, evolve pets. So you're saying that members can only evolve pets? Come on. Okay, so you can't evolve your pets if you're not a member. So if you just like want to get to Ember Shed, though, if you want to evolve, so means non-members can't get Ember Shed. If you catch it the rare way, either way, it won't let you. So non-members can't get Ember Shed, and that's just sad. You can't get the coolest pet on Earth, seriously. And no, you're not rich. And yeah, that if you can't evolve pets, you won't look cool. And that takes all the fun out of the game. You can't go to cool battles looking at, or go to school showing off how good you are, unless you're a member. So basically, all Prodigy wants is just money. So that they can just make new updates. Is that true? Let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button to that channel just right now. Because yeah, you better subscribe to my channel. I post amazing Prodigy tutorials. Make sure to check out my website. More information in the description about contact me and stuff like that. And shout out to the description to people who have subbed randomly. And yeah, goodbye.